Joel, just as we did with our previous two guests, I'd love to sort of just get your big picture theory on why you think cloud stocks can hold up in this environment after a day like we saw yesterday, which really probably sparked fear in a lot of folks holding on to tech names, specifically cloud. It's a great question. Uh, number one, we think that they're recession, recession resistant, not that they're immune, but they don't have any consumer exposure, as your last guest you know, talked about. Also, the secular tailwinds and digital transformation, all companies are leveraging technology to you know, eliminate and increase productivity and eliminate mundane um, areas of their, of their businesses. So we think that you know, people are, are doubling down in some instances on cloud technology uh, to improve their businesses in a, in a recessionary environment. Okay, so that sort of goes to to my question, sort of with our with our initial guest about sort of wondering why these high interest rates environments are frightening to some investors in the tech space, because really there are certain things that that are not optional if you're a business, if you want to run at maximum efficiency. And that's part of your theory here for some of these cloud stocks, that in order to operate at a lowest possible cost, you need to employ this technology. Is that right? Yes, and, and I think the bigger issue that we've seen is this is more of a valuation reset. Uh, valuations got a little extreme because there are a lot of investors chasing few, a far few two ideas that are really platform or transitional ideas. There's many companies or transformational ideas. There's many companies that say they are, but there's very few that are really platform companies that are are really you know in a pole position coming out of this to be very recession resistant. And so I think we're seeing a valuation reset to some extent. We think that it was overdone to the downside, but we think that they'll outperform significantly when we sort of come out of this recessionary environment and interest rate environment. We all know that at some point this will reverse. We can't have, don't have a crystal ball when it'll happen, but when it does, some of these companies are going to significantly outperform, and that's where investors are going to want to be, you know, positioned. Okay, great. So let's let's try to drill down on some of those names, give our investors some idea here that are watching. We don't have time to go through the whole list, but some of the cloud stocks that you think you see the most opportunity that, to your point, might have sold off more than they should have yesterday or in, or in previous days. Yeah, just a couple of ideas. So on the infrastructure side, clearly Snowflake has been a, a name where they're going to be a $10 billion revenue company with substantial uh, margins going forward. Another company we really like is a company called GitLab GTLB, which was an IPO at late last year. Um, they're in the dev, DevOps space. Um, that's the application development space. Um, they've got a platform there that is just extremely um, beneficiary to a lot of uh, companies, and, and they're, we're in the early stages. And then on the security side, the two names I would really highlight there are CrowdStrike, CRWD, and, and Zscaler, ZS. Um, those are the two names that um, are repositioning you know, uh, for the cloud in, from a security perspective, and we think that they're the ones that are best positioned going forward. You know, there was a great movie, uh, The Graduate, uh, Joel, that where the, the protagonist was uh, told to go into plastics. That's where you <laughs> want to go. You want to go into plastic. If I if we had that advice updated to today, I would say go into the cloud and computer security. That's where the future is going to be made. Joel Fishbein, thanks. Thank you.